This is the US National Library of Medicine uh, website and this is the mission statement. So they're uh, about publicizing research into different illnesses. And I'll go to one of their pages. And this one is uh, studying Margellan's disease, which is normally considered to be uh, a disease of the imagination. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this a little bit quickly. And one of the things that uh, they have in there, um, despite compelling evidence to the con contrary, Margellan's disease continues to be attributed to delusions. Uh, a major strength of our study is that the MD patients were identified based on the presence of multicolored fibers within skin lesions are detected under unbroken skin. So what they did was they, um, they um, nurses would uh, see the lesions with the fibers underneath the skin and report them to um, these people and uh, um, some of our patients did suffer neuropsychiatric symptoms but they, they were identified, the patients were found by uh, the multicolored fibers uh, within the skin lesions are detectable under unbroken skin. So that's really important. So they had, in this study, they had uh, 25 patients. Oh, sorry, I got to make this small. So they had 25 patients and um, they um, discovered that in the 25 patients, every single one of them had Borrelia, which is um, the um, organism, the spirochete, that causes uh, Lyme disease. And they went into, <coughs> um, they've done uh, one, two, three, four, five different ways that they uh, showed that the spirochetes were there. Uh, and irrespective of Lyme um, positivity, all patients demonstrated evidence of skin infection with spirochetes. And <coughs> it's quite extraordinary. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Like th there's a, a person with it, and here are the little bluey fibers under the skin. And what these people have discovered is that these fibers are, uh, it's almost like um, it, they're made of keratin, which is essentially uh, very similar to hair. And uh, in some of the lower um, layers of the skin, uh, there has been proliferation of, of the cells that produce keratin. And um, these things are being um, are grown um, by the, the, the person in reaction to the infection. So I will go down here, uh, we'll just go quickly here. Clinical data of the uh, people. So here are the different people. And so quite a few females because uh, uh, women seem to get this uh, illness more than men and that's um, um, uh, that's not in any way uh, you know this is related to um, women uh, uh, their immune system being uh, different because uh, they have to have babies which is you know uh, a foreign body more or less so um, their immune system is uh, uh, tamped down in comparison to that of men. Uh, so um, some of these people uh, had not been tested for Lyme because um, it hadn't been um, it hadn't been uh, found uh, before they found the uh, little fibers in them. Uh, so this um, so all these people or a bunch of these people were uh, positive for Lyme, but uh, s some of them weren't. Now we'll go down to another. So
So they, they've done uh, uh, testing in uh, one, two, three, four or five different laboratories. I, I'm not a, a speed reader, so I can't uh, go quickly. Electron uh, microscopy. So they've uh, found a little uh, spirochetes with um, um, uh, electron microscope too. PCR, that's a, a fancy way of uh, finding DNA. Uh, oh, some of their um, testing was done internationally. So an Australian, um, some of their samples were sent off to Australia to be analyzed. Uh, molecular beacons. Dr. MacDonald has um, cloned little um, short sequences of the DNA of uh, Borrelia and um, uh, what happens? De they if they latch on to Borrelia protein or Borrelia DNA in the human body it fluoresces so it, it fluoresces green and um, if it doesn't latch on it doesn't fluoresce so there's ch 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 he has several of these um, uh, short uh, sequences of um, DNA from Borrelia that are unique and uh, if they find Borrelia DNA they'll fluoresce and if they don't they won't um, Anyway, it's uh, it's a new technique, uh, you know, three or four years old, or maybe five years old. Uh, here's microscopic uh, examination. Oh, here we go. Now, in all these people, every single one of them, um, or all but one, there's spirochetes observed. Oh, here's one, they weren't observed but it was um, uh, positive by um, um, uh, polyclonal immune stain. So they didn't find spirochetes in one or, or two of them, but uh, consisted uh, spirals. So this is just a different form of the um, a kind of a, a hiding form of the spirochete is the spirals. And this polyclonal immunostain uh, was positive in every patient. Okay. Now we go down a bit further. Culture general observations. Cultures were performed on skin, blood, and or uh, vaginal samples taken directly from patients. Blah, 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 blah. Mo uh, motile viable organisms were found in all cultures at four weeks except for the skin culture taken from patient six. Uh. Oh, this is a very important part. None of the specimens could be subcultured onto blood agar, even in anaerobic uh, conditions. So um, there is a, a way of culturing uh, Borrelia on uh, um, I think a BSK uh, um, and these Borrelia did not culture on BSK. Uh, some of the cultures are very few organisms and so this is interesting because um, these uh, these spirochetes seem to be very very variable skin culture dermatology uh, so skin cultures oh again it's um, it's scary that this wasn't found earlier but uh, it's an international study. They've found their patients based on having the. Um, here's um, PCR. 
the different ways that they've uh, found, despite compelling e evidence to the contrary. Uh, Mar Morgellons disease continues to be attributed to delusions of parasitosis or delusional infestation. Um, so now we shall go on to, we should s explore further. Um, Oh, this was the, uh, I think this was the earlier study. Uh, this is uh, a very similar disease in cattle. And um, one of the authors of the study I showed you, uh, her name is, go back up again, Marianne uh, Middlevane. So she's in Canada. She's, I think she was uh, educated or born in the US and she's, uh, microbiologist anyway uh, she's uh, she works mostly or has worked in the vet veterinarian uh, field so she knew more about this disease than the um, doctors and it's uh, was first discovered in Italy it may have been around long before that but in 1974 and it's caused by a mixture of different bacteria including spirochetes of the genus um, Tryptomyelina. They don't know why in 1974 it just this um, type of bacteria seems to have changed because it wasn't causing much infection before that. Uh, but now uh, this uh, uh, disease has spread across the world and uh, it's uh, hairy growths are, um, between the hooves of cattle. Uh, cattle have uh, two hooves and in the middle there's, there's um, here we go, lesions which initially looked like raw red uh, ovoid ulcer on the back of the heels. These develop raised hair-like protections and the hairs are <coughs> keratin, uh, just the same as the Morgellons hairs are keratin as well. And um, being a microbiologist, that was one of the first things um, Middlevane uh, did was she analyzed the, the fibers and uh, discovered there were keratin. So we go to. Do 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 do. Oh, yes, uh, and here is her thing about uh, digital dermatitis. It uh, causes uh, lameness, decreased milk production, and weight loss in livestock first described uh, da, 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 da. oh here's the here's the lesions uh, these are horrible looking things there we go and I'll come down here and there there are little hairs coming out of them and um, yeah it's gross disgusting thing I haven't seen it uh, I guess I luckily left the farm before it ever happened um, on the at home and here's the Morgellons thing with the fibers. I can't really see it, and these that one, but you can see it here. These little tiny fibers under the skin. Um, and this is done at either sixty or a hundred x. So, um, and the fibers are under the skin, so it's it's kind of hard to visualize them. Uh, anyway, I'll go through that. And now uh, she also investigated dogs and she found these little colored fibers, those little bluey fibers in in some dogs. Uh, nine dogs were found to have... Oh, nine dogs she found with uh, um, those fibers and she did the PCR and gene sequencing at five independent la laboratories. So at five la laboratories and uh, the Borrelia DNA was detected in the dogs. Um, here's the, oh yeah, here's the reason for this. Uh, this is the Wikipedia, art uh, Wikipedia article. Morgellons is the informal name of a self-diagnosed skin condition. 
it's a form of delusional parapsychosis. Now, it doesn't mention uh, anywhere in this uh, her uh, work. And uh, it doesn't uh, do the C uh, CDC investigation. Now, uh, uh, I will go next to, I think this is the uh, CDC investigation. Oh yes, uh, so you see it's the National Library of Medicine uh, as well. It's a different journal, but uh <coughs> abstract. P poor, poorly characterized constellation of symptoms with the primary manifestations involving the skin. We conducted in the v investigation to characterize the clinical and epidemiological features and explore potential, um, you know, how d how the disease is, is being caused. But these people went into it with the belief that it was um, crazy loony people were getting imagined in the fibers. And however, <coughs> uh, there is uh, lastly, we uh, so among the people we had, we found functional impairment and disability as measured uh, on this scale among the case patients that exceeded that of the general population and compared to that detected among people who had serious medical illnesses and concurrent psychiatric disorders. So even though they didn't uh, choose their people based on these fibers, they found... Uh, their people had uh, much higher uh, impairment and disability than the general population. Oh, we might have um, we might have pictures among there. Um, and here's something. Uh, here's one of the flaws in the CDC um, study. Uh, Twenty-three fibers were uh, obtained from diverse intact skin sites in twelve case patients. The material was lar largely composed of protein. For some reason, they didn't uh, find out what protein, um, you know, they didn't find out it was keratin. Likely superficial skin or cellulose consistent with uh, cotton fibers, some with evidence of dyes. So down here we got um, the, um, oh yeah, sorry, uh, this is a photo. So, uh, but this is uh, uh, one of these, pa uh, ones with evidence of dyes. But uh, here is the glaring error that the CDC people made. Largely composed of protein, uh, likely superficial skin or cellulose. Cellulose isn't a protein, it's a polysaccharide. So they cannot say cellulose is protein because it absolutely is not. So this is a huge uh, this is a huge mistake here, and um, we'll uh, close this off now, and I'll show you a, a couple more, sorry, things where they might have uh, messed up. So, uh, descriptive study, uh, okay, I'll, I'll quickly uh, brief you on the other two major flaws that I can see right away. Their study people were taken from uh, Kaiser Permanente in Northern California. So n their, their people were taken from an area of Northern California, not from a, across the USA and Canada like the other study. So they've taken their people from a small group and in uh, Kaiser Permanente, so I looked at their website. They actually uh, they do uh, medical care and medical insurance. Now, a uh, medical insurance company is not going to be too keen on a new disease. They're absolutely not going to um, want uh, Margellan's disease to be uh, discovered to be a real thing. And so, so there's uh, the three the three flaws I can see uh, after after bash with this thing is 
it's uh, a, a very specific area uh, their partners in the study uh, uh, might have a conflict of interest and uh, uh, the people who did this study think that cellulose is protein which um, boggles the mind okay do, 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 do. Um, I think I have one. Oh, I, I've already showed you the picture of. Oh, here's here's pictures from their study, and you see this here. There's the blue f fibers again, but they didn't discover that they were keratin. And there's some in this one too. I don't. Yeah, you can see some of the blue fibers under the skin here. And it, um, middle vein discovered that they were keratin produced by. Um, um, overgrowth of uh, skin of two layers of the skin and you'd have to read up about that in the thing now the the other reason for this is the Wik wikipedia thing uh, they don't mention they um, see uh, they've gone into fringe medicine blah 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 um, They have covered this as though as the CDC are God, and um, and that the other people are crooks. And here's how I just show you. This is astonishing. People have been bringing the other study to their attention since uh, the first little study from uh, Middle Vein was in uh, I think 2011. And this is uh, talk page number 13. And so if I click on this, see like uh, recent studies have confirmed that, so someone is uh, telling, telling them, recent studies have confirmed that the disease is a specific skin infection. The filaments are composed of keratin and collagen. But these guys, these um, paleoneot is, uh, uh, please see the section immediately before this one. Uh, they, these guys are, are acting as trolls and they will not allow the new research to be shown on this uh, Margellan's page. So that's page, uh, 14 I guess so here's page 13 see people have been trying to um, uh, do, 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 films uh, they will not let it be shown semi protected edit request they are whoever these people are they are refusing to uh, allow the other research in and you can go back further archive 10 uh, NPOV real issue here uh, uh, so I it's astonishing really how uh, they're re refusing to uh, allowed the, the new research which um, you know when you read it it's it's uh, multinational it's all across uh, USA and Canada and um, uh, these gatekeepers are have been stopping this for uh, from being acknowledged for years I could go back to archive 5 uh, I, I'd, um, uh, here we go again. This is this. Uh, d these people don't believe chronic uh, fatigue syndrome exists either, and uh, the title of people is the victims in in uh, parenthesis. So. Um, There is this battle going on 
in the background between uh, see that up yes so there's um, yeah so this has been going on for Oh yes, uh, they did not include uh, uh, this this piece here. They they refuse to show that we found functional in the CDC. They have actually, um, even though the CDC thing was wishy washy, and it didn't come to any conclusion at all. Really, we they did find uh, impairment and disability among the. The, the Morgellons people that was out of the ordinary um, anyway I'm going to stop it there and uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, ask Wikipedia maybe do a uh, uh, petition or something because this is, is crazy those p poor people are suffering for years and decades and these monsters are saying that it's delusional when uh, uh, plus they are hiding the actual real uh, progression of the disease and God help us all if this progresses the same way as the disease in cattle did from 1974 when a few cattle had it to now when uh, most of the cattle herds in the world the cow herds in the world have that d disease and uh, the cattle disease is related to, closely related to the spirochetes in our mouth, in our mouths that cause uh, dental caries. So, uh, it's this is not something we need to, um, we c should be uh, hiding in the talk pages of Wikipedia. This is something that urgently needs to be researched, so that uh, we don't all end up um, unable to. Um, sleep at night because we're covered in sores um, oh uh, the other thing is uh, if you find this uh, something that uh, you should sh spread around uh, you'll have to uh, share the video yourself because I can because I'm using other people's uh, work I cannot um, enable this for uh, monetary um, m money sharing with um, YouTube and YouTube uh, will have no reason to, um, um, you know, make highlight this video because they're making no money on it. Anyway, thank you very much for listening so long, and I shall uh, make another video someday. Thank you. Bye bye.